Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and today I'm going to talk about controlling ECM motors with a PWM. So, as a reminder, the ECM motor is an ultra high efficiency motor that we offer in our fan boxes, and you use a PWM to control the airflow of it. The PWM will send a signal to the motor to modulate the airflow up and down. There are a couple ways you can do this. You can get a manual PWM. This works very much like an SCR on a standard fan box with a PSC motor. You use a screwdriver to adjust the fan speed, which adjusts the airflow of the fan box. The other option is a remote PWM. This sends a voltage signal from the DDC controllers to the ECM motor. So now there are two options with a remote PWM. So you can take your DDC controls and send a 0 to 10 volt analog signal to the ECM motor, where 0 is the minimum CFM of the fan box and 10 volts would be the maximum CFM of the fan box. If you do this, you'll need a second on-off or digital signal to send to the motor to tell the motor to turn on or off. The other option is you can send a 2 to 10 volt analog signal to the motor where 2 volts is the minimum CFM and 10 volts is the maximum CFM and then 0 would be off. So when you're selecting your ECM motor it's good to know what signal you're sending so that you get the right PWM. So you can choose between a manual or two different types of remote PWMs, a 0 to 10 volt PWM or a 2 to 10 volt PWM. So that's the different types of PWMs to control ECM motors on fan boxes. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking the time out with us.